All right, yo, what up? It's your man Nelly, and we're backstage at the Maloof Money Cup on the Gibson tour bus. What are you up to? I know you're up on it with a new record. Yeah, um, I got a new album coming out um, this year. New album is called 5.0. It's my uh, fifth drop date, so to speak. It's all but my sixth album. Um, you know, Sweatsuit was dropped on the same date. So, um, you know, we're just gearing up for a new project and everything and, and blasting off. I got two singles that I just released. Um, one is called uh, Tipping in the Club and another one is called Just a Dream. And um, both are doing unbelievably well right now, so I'm real proud. Are you in skateboarding? Uh, you know what? I had a small skateboard career. A very, very small skateboard career. It, it probably lasted all of about uh, two weeks. Uh, the first time I, I really hit the ground kind of hard, I kind of figured that this wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think as a child, I think we all went through that <laughs> a little bit. I went from um, riding them on two legs to saying, you know what, I think it's better if I sit down and roll down the hill a little bit. So, you know. How did you get started in music? Um, I got started in music basically through my family. My family um, has been into music for a long time. My uncle and my father, they've been, um, my uncle had his own band when I was growing up. Uh, my father and my uncle both sang in the choir, um, as well as a lot of other members of my family and things of that nature. So, um, you know, it's always been around me. And what's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? Um... Uh, I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure, but uh, I'm real fond of the poker movement right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I've, I've been I've been doing that for about a couple of years now. It's real cool. And uh, let's see, what do you watch on TV? Um, some of the things that I watch on TV, I'm a real ESPN fan. So um, I do a lot of the sports centers around the horn and partner interruption and. Uh, ESPN first and ten, <laughs> things of that nature. Uh, I also watch uh, I actually I watch a lot of CNN. If that if that makes you know not for the plug, but you know it's all good. I I do. It's it's it's, it's a cool show. Gossip. No one knows about me. Uh, I don't know. That's probably why they don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Scorpio, so you know we'd like to keep things ourselves. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We like to keep things ourselves. Right now, it's all about my music. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the album coming in November, November 16th, 5.0. I'm, I'm, I'm dating my fans all over. I'm dating you, girl. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> and give me some advice for children who want to get into the music. Um, my advice for children that want to get into the music industry is, is basically learn the business, have a passion for it, and understand that it takes more than just liking what you do. You have to love what you do. You have to be enthused about what you're doing. You have to have the will to succeed in the business and not think that anyone owes you anything because of it. Because uh, I think a lot of people get in it because, of, because they, they, they see what they want instead of knowing what they want. And that's what I, I, I think a lot of kids get misunderstood. And last question, how do you stay in shape? Um, you know what, staying in shape is, is, is something that I've been doing for a long time now. You know, but I think it's something, I, I, I used to do it because of all the athletics that I, that I was involved in early on, but now it's a great stress reliever. I think it's like the exact opposite of what you need to be in this business, something that you can go throw some weight around <laughs> and let out some frustration. But I, I like to get in the gym. Um, if I'm not in album mode or on tour, at least, at least three to four times a week. But if I am on album tour mode, at least two times a week. Is it, uh, is it lifting weights? Is it doing cardio? I mean, what it's a little bit of both. Um, cardio, when it comes to cardio, I, I, I'm not a fan of the treadmill or anything like that. You know, I like to get out in the open space and ride a bike. Uh, my favorite cardio is basketball. I think it's the best cardio that you can, you can have. You're running, you're jumping, you're stretching, your agility, even if you can't play. Just to get out there and just to just to run back and forth up and down the court and just to you know extend that energy that it takes to um, you know have fun playing the game. I think that's the best cardio you can do.